awesome. We don't really know what we're in for, but we've got some ligands, we've got some soft plastics. We're going to throw them and just see what we can make work. And I can already see there's a lot of mullet here. So, full disclosure, as some of you know, I have no idea how to work these surface lures, particularly like these sort of ones that have got this mouth on them. But what I'm trying to do is just sort of pop it along the surface like that. It wants, seems to want, to want to sort of go under the water, which I don't think is what's supposed to happen. But we're going to keep flicking it, we're going to find out. one cast. Look at what she's so, done. Um, it was just a weak point. I didn't pull on it or anything. I did kind of pull on it. But like you could see, see that? Yeah, yeah. It was I, it starting was... to go. No, I'll keep fishing that. It's all right. I'll just reel with the nub. Reel with the nub? <laughs> yep. <laughs> this is how you do it, folks. When life gives you lemons, you give up and go home. <laughs> Some of the stupid people that oh look I, I'm trying to grab the thing that's <laughs> not there. Just have to like crank it in. Yeah. Natural presentation well, all the way. The thing is <laughs> they get big, you know. Jesus, watch me at casting. There you go. If I just like flick it between my fingers and sleep. It's not really good though, I will be honest. Uh, just wanted to give a quick shout out to the guys at the Tack World in South Nara. We took that reel in after it had broken and fully expecting to buy a new reel, but they just, uh, yeah, they took it, grabbed the new handle and it was all sweet, no charge. So shout out to those guys. So as you saw, we didn't have the most luck uh, last time when we went out, we fished the surface. So, so we're going out to Orion Point. Denise has got like some cicada imitation thing on. I've got the ligand and we're going to see if we can get some results. So we're at our second location. Let's, uh, let's give this a shot. All right, first cast at the new location. This is fun. I'm already enjoying this. Yeah, I thought you would. It's like being in the water. Yeah, oh, 100%. And not like having to worry too much. Yeah, I'm gonna cast over that clump of weed there. Saw a big bust up on the surface, right like Right on my lure. Oh yeah, yeah. Look at this. Yep. I can see him following it. I don't know if the GoPro can pick it up because I've got my um polarized sunnies on. But oh, that was exciting. That bust up and then he followed it still. All right, folks. Well, we've uh, walked and sort of cast the beach from up there to here. Haven't really had much interest. Denise had one or two bites on the little uh, blood worm, but been fairly quiet for me on the surface but we found this sort of weed patch here so we've just sort of been working our lures over the sandy patches within that weed bed and just on the outskirts of it just trying to pick up a flatty or something but unfortunately it's not really working for us we spent three hours fishing our ligon and our little blood worm we had one peck I reckon on this and then two takes on that but unfortunately couldn't really set the hook properly uh, but we've noticed the drop off is a lot closer into the bank there so next time we think we might try there I got some good practice though like I think I've got much more of an idea of how to fish this ligon than when I started we've come back again this is our third attempt of fishing on the surface but we've come better equipped this time we've got six pound braid I've got a sugar pen on and hopefully 
third day trying's the charm. So I'm told to just twitch it like this. That's not right. That's sweet on it. Now I've got to twitch it harder. I was just watching my lure come back in and big splash around it. Try and do it again. Oh, yep. Ah, oh, no, I dropped him. I don't know what I can do. Alright, I'm gonna save charge. To my. Uh, turn the GoPro off, but every time I do that, I get a strike, so. I got something. I was not expecting that. It's a whiting, too. Target species. Yeah. I've caught my first whiting on the surface today. Look at that. I'm a little sugar pen. Hey there, buddy. Oh, not big. Julie of the flats right there. Oh, that was awesome. Just saw that. Just saw that big swell. How fun was that? I actually caught something. I wasn't expecting to. Not a bad size whiting either. Yeah, that's no, so that's... Bad. Are you going to bring it over here, do a photo? Oh yeah, I'll just... No, don't unhook him yet, if yeah. that's alright. Oh yeah, you want just to photo get... with the Yeah, yeah. How good was that? I can't believe you actually got one! I'm shocked. Alright, do you want to... Do one with the lure in its mouth, if that's all good. Look at that. We've given it, what's that, our third day of trying to pick one of these bad boys up, but we've finally done it. Look at that gorgeous, he's pooped on me, but I'm more than happy to be alive. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Alright, we'll let him, let him go. I don't think it's legal, but happy to sort of water one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, just careful for your lure. Oh, uh, yeah, true. Oh, it's right in front of you. That would have been nasty. So that is my first ever whiting on the surface. And what I did is I went to Tack World, bought a sugar pen, and then just did little twitches like this with a constant retrieve. We uh, got stung like nothing else. My well, legs are absolutely aching at the moment from all those little baby jellyfish. Poor Denise. Apparently there's a little soft patch of sand there and she, she stepped in it and lost a shoe. 